Hey everybody, welcome to John Swift Live. I'm John Swift, and today what we're looking at here is this building, the Watson House. This building is a former YMCA, some kind of children children's charity something something building, but now it is abandoned, and uh, I think we should go check it out. You want to go check it out with me? Let's go check it out, because there's no one around. It's abandoned. We should just go check it out. Come on, let's go. Come on. I forgot you can't walk on your own. Let's go. So this place, um, I think it's been abandoned for a couple, ooh, some moss there. Some couple years, you could tell there, there's, the floorboards are starting to give out down here. Ooh, they're all starting to, get a little rubbery a little rubbery with the floorboards um, see it says youth and family services I had been here a couple months back I guess they're not gonna answer I had been in, let's see if there's any mail in here no no mail I had been here a couple months ago and it was actually wide open, the door was wide open and it smelled really bad of mold so at that time I didn't go in. But um, I thought I would come back, they boarded up pretty much the whole building. Um, I thought we'd take a little walk around. I, I'm not really sure why either, why they closed this place but it's an interesting building. One of the things that's so interesting about it, it's right in a downtown area there's a big business park right next to it across the way I don't know what it's called but it's where the former train depot was and uh, you can see some more signs up here Rudy and Alice Lazarus Center I'm sure it was some kind of youth protection type of place it's funny how they leave all the office equ equipment behind you can kind of see in there some stuff left behind pa actually lots of paper there isn't that what that is? Some chairs and but you can you can smell the mold from between the door in the door crack here. Like right here you can smell the mold smell from being uh should we ring the doorbell? If anybody's gonna come to the door. Looks like there was once a little cloth little roof there missing the cloth route. Yeah, but this place is, there's a lot of office buildings in this little area, this little circle. There's a big office building there, a lot of lawyers, officers, and in, in not lawyers, officers, but lawyer, lawyers' offices. And uh, it makes you wonder why they would close a place like this. Um, the building doesn't look like it's really that old. But uh, you can still kind of see Looks like a lot of the desks are still set up in there. There's, a, there's still a picture on the wall. You see that picture? And some desk equipment there. Floor mats. It's, kinda, it's always kind of bewildering when they close a place, but they leave all the good stuff behind. Instead of just moving it into storage, it's just kind of all gone. Kind of weird. Kind of like a little alley between the buildings here. Little alley behind the fence. Little chair here. Pretty much everything. Everything here is pretty much boarded up. Um, except for these pants. There's some some pants right there in the tree. I don't know why they had to hang them so high to, to dry. It's kind of weird. You get the feeling from all the trash over here that there might have been some people possibly living here. Looks like a bunch of water bottles and a thing. Why? Why is there always? Why is there always just one 
One shoe. What happened to the other shoe? Honey, have you seen my other shoe? Yeah. Just one shoe there. This is this is kind of the fence in between the two buildings out front right here. Looks like somebody had had broken some glass too. Got a lot of glass down here. Probably uh, came from one of the windows up here or something where somebody broke in. But pretty much everything is recently been boarded up as I think a few months ago. All right, so this is the back of the building. And you can see that the fence has kind of been broken in. There's some guys playing basketball back here. It looks like this is a bas oh, sorry, sir. Okay. Sorry. basketball court back here. And uh, it looks like somebody started a fire right here, too. It's kind of fiery. <laughs> a little bit of smoke. It looks like just part of the building actually got caught on fire here. For some reason, they must have put it out, but you can see there's a lot of ashes and stuff on the ground. What the, oh, there's a, that's what it was. Somebody was cooking hamburgers back here. This, that's why I caught on fire. Flipping burgers had a little barbecue accident, looks like. But uh, pretty crispy. You can see this, uh, this wood back here is pretty crispy and crunchy. Looks like some electrical. This is what your electrical wire looks like after you have a fire. You can see this is pretty crunchy. And uh, some little charge tree action. But it looks like the Sarasota Fire Department put this out pretty quick because it didn't catch the rest of the building. You can see it kind of stopped over here. On the eaves, it's kind of normal color and then it goes to black, but it didn't reach the main building. It's pretty charred here on the ground. And once again, if anybody knows who Fruit Punch this is, can you uh, let them know it's still back here and it's open too? So it's not going to be good for that long, but pretty charred back here. It looks like somebody actually was actually sleeping in somebody's little bed back here. And they were drinking some rolling, rolling Rock. Does anybody enjoy Rolling Rock beer? Extra Pale? Extra pale rolling rock. So here's a look at the back part of the building and a little bit of the fire damage that was caused when they were back here. You know, besides this YMCA building, right across the street, there actually is another building that's abandoned and closed up. And there's also this apartment building that's been fenced off, too. It's really weird. I really wanted to call this video Sarasota's little zombie zombie town in the middle of Sarasota because it's the perfect place to shoot a zombie movie because you got this building right here that's closed. You've got this building that's closed. And you got this building across the street that's closed. There's really not much, much here. This is right on, um, looks like it says Audubon Place. But it's just like, it's so empty, even even when it's uh, on the weekday. There's a few apartments over here in that area. And there's buildings like further down the street. But as far as like the main part of this section, it's so strange because all these buildings are closed. You can't, you can't tell, I think. Well, you couldn't tell because the windows used to be unboarded. But now you can sort of tell because the, the boards are up. But this place... Is called the Kalesh House. This one, this one also used to be open. As a few months ago, I probably should have went in. I actually, I actually did walk around a little bit. I didn't shoot any video back then, but Penny, 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 Candy Graham. Land Shark. What is this thing? Can anybody leave a comment on what that is? Once again, the mailbox is empty. And it's got a thing that says, don't come around here no more. I might take a little stroll around the building and check out what's going on around here. Because there is a lot of uh, 
It's a neat looking house. It's cool. I, I think it was a house turned into an office building. Like a lot, a lot of places in Sarasota, they, they've taken the uh, buildings and turned them into office buildings. Um, this one's also been boarded up pretty well. I don't know if anybody was living in this one. They actually have a basketball hoop. I'll, I'll come back and play some basketball in a minute. A lot of uh, palm trees. See, this is a major road right here. This Fruitville Road right here. Right there. Right there is a major, major state road. And this place is just like right off the edge and you can't see it because of all the, because uh, of all the trees, you really can't tell this building is closed except for recently they, they did board up the windows. A little bit spooky back here. And you know, there, there is also signs of, uh, this is kind of like a little weird corner here. No way out, no way out. I can't get out. Well, there's a fence here too. Can't seem to get that open either. A lot of Coca-Cola cups. A lot of Coca-Cola cups. And, oh, I don't, I don't think I want to touch whatever that was. I don't know why. Why did I touch that in the first place? There's signs posted here that say that about the arson that they uh, suspect that somebody purposely set something on fire. You can't, it doesn't really look like that the main building, this main building was set on fire, but a while ago I did see a shed that was all black and then I think that was on fire. Why people were setting fires, I don't know. It, <clears throat> I never, uh, never quite understand that whole fire thing. But you can see on this side, it looks a little blackened. Right where this space was, you can sort of see. So this is an apartment building that's right across from the, uh, the YMCA place, right there. And the other business house slash house, right across the street from that. Seems odd that all these buildings are closed, except for the fact, the only thing I can figure out is somebody is planning on developing something with these plots of land together some kind of little business park or something so they've closed all these places for that reason that's what a lot of places do and then they sit on a like a planning stage thing where it takes sometimes takes a year or two and then they'll come and tear all these places down and end up building something so this is the back side of the apartments um, right next to it is this really big field See, that's the other thing that, that kind of gives you a clue, is there when, it, when there's a big field like this, that's a pretty good size par part of land there, and you've got this apartment building here too, and then across the street is that YMCA building. It makes me think that somebody has bought up all these parcels of land to develop them for something. Uh, this place is all fenced off too, I can't get in there. Um, but at some point in time, they're probably going to be torn down. This place doesn't look really super, super old. I don't know. As you can see, it's First Street and Audubon Place is just deserted. Except for the cars right here. Pretty much everything is deserted. No people, no cars, no cars in the parking lot. Just an empty, empty space with some nice buildings that look like they could be occupied, but they're probably gonna be demolished soon. Um, maybe something cool will be here. Maybe it'll be like a little shopping center or nice business center or something. In the meantime, we'll just have to look at these crazy buildings. So uh, speaking of t-shirts, like the one that I'm wearing here, my logo on the chest, is the John Swift logo, and I have the, the updated ones actually have my name, John Swift, on there. But they, uh, they come in all kinds of different colors. They come in a white jumping guy and a little black black logo jumping guy. And if you want to check out those T-shirts, you can go to johnswift.spreadshirt.com. So it's www.johnswift. So if you want to help support the John Swift live channel you can do that or you can just subscribe 
to get all my new videos and or like the videos to help sort of push the John Swift Live experience forward, thrusting forward into the YouTube world. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep on doing these cool videos and showing you nifty stuff like boardwalks with big holes in them and abandoned buildings and cool stores and nature, all kinds of good stuff. I have a lot of videos. I just passed my, my 50th, I almost said 5th, my 50th video, which I'm pretty proud of. It's been like about the last six months that I've done that. I actually have another channel where I do different types of videos. Some of them are how-to videos, how to make things, crafts and things. It's Mr. John Swift 200 channel. This is John Swift Live. Appreciate your support, guys. Appreciate you hanging with me in this video to check out this mini zombie town in Sarasota, Florida. Zombie town of nothingness. You guys have a great week. If you have any, uh, if you want to email me, my email's on there. Uh, Facebook, John Swift Live, Twitter, John Swift, and Instagram. So get a hold of me on one of those if you have any questions or you want to comment or you want to just, uh, if you'd like to be in a video with me too, and you live near Sarasota, Florida, somewhere in the Tampa area or somewhere, give me a buzz on one of those social medias and I will answer you back, okay? So, have a great week, guys. We'll see you later. Please like and subscribe. I was walking around and I think I just saw a homeless guy. I just ran out of the building. Holy crap, man. He was like, right?